Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made this really cool and affordable vanity stool. So I used the Marius stool from Ikea, some foam pads, a rug, scissors, a pen and my glue gun. So I took my pen and the top, like the seat part of the stool and I just traced around it on both of my foam pads. I wanted it to be quite high so I got two foam pads. Um, I'll leave links to everything down below. So I've done this so that I can cut out the actual foam pads into the appropriate size. This was kind of hard, so um, get bigger scissors or an adult if you need assistance, because this kind of hurt my hands a lot. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be covered with fabric, but um, you do want them to be of similar size. So now that that's done, I've marked the top and the bottom of them both. They're not glued together yet, but they will be. And what I'm doing is just going around the corner, like the top corner of the top plate, just to make it more, like, less of a corner, if that makes sense. And as I said before, this doesn't have to be perfect, but this kind of, like, evens it out and makes it a bit more smooth, so there isn't a sharp corner for the fabric to fall off of. I then glued the two together using my glue gun. Uh, they glue quite well and they are just literally soft foam. I then just went round all of the edges to make sure that it was glued down properly as I don't want them coming apart whilst I use my stool. Then I glued the top of the stool to the foam and um, again the, the stool is just plastic and glues perfectly to the foam. Now I've got my piece of rug or fabric or whatever you shoot like you choose to use you could use a pillowcase or something like that and I've just glued down the actual top of my seat to it just to keep it like there and now I'm taking the fabric and pulling it up and cutting it away as you can see there's four prongs of the actual stool you need to keep clear of these because these are the parts where the the legs actually stick in they screw into these prongs so the four prongs need to keep quite clear so I'm cutting away some of the fabric just to make sure that the whole cross is kept clear and I'm literally just hot glue gunning down the fabric all the way around and it will fold but it doesn't matter because it's all white and very fluffy so you can't really tell so next I'm just measuring it out making sure that it comes in properly gluing down the correct bits. I used a lot of glue so don't be afraid to use a lot because I just want to make sure that this lasts. And don't forget to glue down bits of the side as well because you need it to stick completely. And then I'm just cutting away from that prong again to keep that whole cross area done. And here I am Oh, I finished the rest. Um, I'm just doing the last bit just to show how I, I did it. I literally just grabbed it and folded it like a present, cutting away the bits I didn't want and glue gunning it down. Just be careful of the hot glue gun because it is at, like obviously very, very hot. I burnt myself a couple of times, but it's not too bad. So here I am just going around all of the edges making sure that they're either cut away or glued down. Some of the folds need gluing I find because obviously you're folding fabric. So now I'm just putting together the actual, the, the base of it, the legs, um, which are really really easy to do um, and you get instructions to. And I'm just screwing it down to the actual chair that I've just made, like the seat part. And there it is, the completed stool. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.